segregated housing from commercial development, from industrial development. And in, by the way, it was not just the developer doing this, it was the consumer doing it. We wanted to segregate ourselves in separate units. And then we had to depend upon the car then to get from work to back home, vice versa, or get from home to the hospital or get from home to the grocery store. We designed our way into forcing ourselves to use the automobile. We very arrogantly, in my opinion, just tossed out the window 2,000 years of accumulated wisdom when it came to human settlement post-World War II. We were in the modern era. We believed that tomorrow was going to be better than yesterday. We believed that we were smarter, that the machine was reinventing the way we lived our lives. And we very boldly, and I think at times arrogantly, presumed that we could create a completely different world detached from the historical progression of human settlement. I think we got crazy for 50 years, from 1950 to 2000, with, with, with this machine. But I think that now, one city after the other, are, are realizing that we shall balance the various concerns in cities much better than making it all for the automobile. Why? Because we essentially allowed virtually unlimited development along the highway, thereby destroying it as an effective <laughs> highway. Why did we do this? Well, we didn't understand the impact of what we were doing at the time. You know, everybody wanted to drive.